In this video, I'll demonstrate the background defocus button that's on the Sony ZV-1. It's just at the top of the device. It'll make the background either super blurry or clear, depending on the setting. So before I do that, here are the settings that I have. It's on manual 4K 30 frames per second, and this is how I generally shoot. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, now I'm gonna put this on. Now it's on background defocus. But interestingly, you notice the background actually got sharp because it focused on that as far as like the autofocus. This is because I have the product showcase mode on. So that's the first thing I did want to demonstrate that if you have product showcase mode on, then it's not really going to help you in that regard. It's just not, not quite sure what to focus on. All right, now product showcase mode is off and background to focus is still on and it's still grabbing the background. So, hey, it is what it is. Uh, but the background is mostly pretty blurry. Now let's go ahead and put this to clear. This is the same button again. Now it's on clear, but you notice it's super dark, but I'm in focus and the background is, it doesn't really have to track onto anything too hard. Now, this is because these manual settings, it doesn't actually change all of them. It'll just change the F stop, which it was at 1.8. Now it's at F 5.6, but the ISO is the same. So I'm gonna put the ISO to automatic now and now with the iso on auto it brightened the image up so there's going to be some more grain if you look at this back but now i don't have really have to worry about anything going out of focus i can kind of just have everything locked in so that's on clear and let's move it back one more time and now it is on the blur setting so the background's pretty blurry and I'm in focus. Uh, it's not gonna be like as extreme as like some of the other lenses that I've seen, like the Sigma 1.4 that's uh, usable on the Canon M50, but it's pretty blurred. You can't read any of the text really. So it's a pretty cool option. Personally, after using this and understanding how it works, I think it's way better to just manually drop the f-stop down to its lowest and just leave it there. You don't really have to do this on and off. If you wanna make the background clear, you can just, you know, increase the f-stop, you know, make it f 5.6 or whatever, you can get it as high as you want so that everything is in focus.